Bharata. Okay, now let's go on to the next question. How well do you know them? How well do you know your neighbors? Uh, do you know them really well or not at all or just to say hello to or what else? Okay, let's try Sang Chani. Do you hear me? Sang Chani. Yes, sir. Okay, how well do you know your neighbor? Uh, I know them really well because mm -hmm. I know them because uh, my neighbor is my um, like a family for you. Yeah, that's right, okay. sir. So you must be uh, so you so you must be good with them. You get. Uh, on with your neighbors. Okay. Thank you, Sangjani. Now let's try Jihan Asti. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. What do you say about your neighbor? Mm, I know the I know neighbor because they often talk to me. So you you often talk with them. So, yes. So you get on with your neighbor uh, very well. Okay, thank you. Um, no one's one. Let's trust Stepani. Stepani, how well do you know your neighbor? Stepani, do you hear me? Yes, yes sir. Um, not, not at all, sir. Not at all. So, uh, do you live in a boarding house? Stephanie? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. And you don't know your uh, your room neighbors in the boarding house? You don't know them? Or yeah, I, I know her. Uh, she is... Uh, Okay, it's okay, it's Stephanie. She is a new student, sir. So I just. Uh, She's I, a new student. Yes. Okay. So I didn't know. So you didn't know her uh, very well. Okay, now let's try to let's try to go on to the next exercise. Exercise two. What makes a good neighbor? Read the ideas. Do you agree or disagree? Okay, now. Mm, I'd like, uh, I'd like to make uh, groups of, let's say, three groups of three people to discuss these ideas, and uh, you can add more ideas to this, to these ones. And later, I'd like one, uh, one person of each group to to tell me the conclusion of the discussion. Ya, ini ada beberapa gagasan. Nanti nanti saya bagi dalam kelompok-kelompok. Silakan kalian diskusikan gagasan ini. This is about a good neighbor. So, uh, how do you think a good neighbor uh, is like? Menurut kalian, tetangga yang baik itu seperti apa? Ini ada beberapa gagasan. But you can add more ideas to this one. Okay. Uh, I give you about 10 minutes to discuss these ideas and later um, I'd like one of each, uh, one participant of each group to tell me the conclusion of uh, your the discussion in your group. And I will let you, uh, I will let you to be able to share screen Kalian semua masing-masing bisa share screen untuk berdiskusi di kelompok nanti. Nanti saya kasih wewenang untuk share screen ya. Sebentar ini ada berapa? Ini silakan di screenshot dulu. Yang ini ID ID-nya nah, untuk nanti didiskusikan. Oke sudah, sudah di screenshot. Saya tutup. Oke, okay, uh, ini ada sebelas ya. Sebelas itu saya bagi. Um, I divide the participants into four groups. Jadi uh, uh, empat itu berarti ada yang tiga.
tiga ada yang satu ada yang dua ya hmm, tiga aja lah tiga aja oke okay. I divide the class into three groups of three or four ada yang tiga ada yang empat anggotanya ya and I'd like you to discuss the ideas oke okay, let me make a breakout room first Okay, all participants have joined the main room. And have you finished your discussion? Waktunya kurang tadi kayaknya ya. Iya. Oh, yeah. uh, belum selesai. I have given you uh, three more minutes. Tadi di awal saya bilang 10 menit, tapi tadi sudah 13 menit. So it's okay, just uh, tell me. Uh, what it is uh, sampaikan aja padanya so now I'd like one volunteer of each group to report the result of the discussion okay let's start with room one who's the volunteer of room one siapa yang jadi juru bicara room one I'm you sir okay hmm. Minuna, please do yeah so the result of our discussion, we think a good neighbor in our opinion is someone who always says hello because we need to have a chit chat to not be awkward. And we think as a neighbor, we need to help each other someday. So yeah, we need to be kind to each other. And then we also think a good neighbor is someone who doesn't make too much noise because we need to respect each other by not disturbing. That's yeah. all. So. Okay. okay, that's a good idea. Uh, thank you. Next, uh, next uh, room two. Who's the volunteer of room two? Uh, me, sir. Okay, Sava. So, from seven statement, we disagree. Just two of the seven. Number three and four, we disagree that a good neighbor is someone who never see. Because the definition of neighbor is actually someone who you often see around your house. And then the second one, mind his or her own business. We also disagree because the definition of good neighbor is someone who help each other. Yeah. Okay, that's all. Is yeah, that all? We also make a new statement that a good neighbor is someone who always comfort you when you are in your worst, making you laugh, always be there for you when you needed them. Makes you feel like a family, someone will give you some money and food, and then they help each other. Okay, that's a good idea too. Thank you, Safa. Safa, tapi gambarnya cowok ini. <laughs> hey, uh, now the last group from room three. Who's the volunteer of room three? Siapa room three juru bicaranya? Me, sir. Okay, Jihan. Uh, sorry, sir. Oh, uh, we just got three question. It's okay. Just report the result. Uh, number one. Uh, we disagree because we think that always say hello is just for formality. Uh, second, agree because we. Think that that doesn't make too much noise. noise. Three agree. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Uh, is that all the result of your discussion? Yeah. Okay, it's okay. I think all the results are good. Thank you for your. Uh, thank you for your effort. To discuss right, the topic. 
Okay, now let's continue our lesson. Let's go on to uh, the next part. Exercise three, two neighbors. Uh, in tip script 2.10, we are going to listen to two neighbors, Mrs. Crumble and Alfie, talking about each other. Read the questions. Okay, now uh, let's read the question first before listening to the audio. Kita baca dulu nih pertanyaannya, baru nanti saya putarkan. Uh, where is Alfie's flat? And do Alfie and Mrs. Crumble speak to each other? What does he wear? What doesn't he wear? Has he got a job? Jadi ini nomor 1 sampai nomor 9. Ini uh, Mrs. Crumble yang ngomong ya. Mrs. Crumble talk about Alfie, her neighbor. So now I'd like all of you to answer these questions based on what Mrs. Crumble says about Alfie. Jadi nanti kita jawab pertanyaan-pertanyaan ini setelah kita dengarkan uh, Mrs. Crumble ya. Jadi kita baca dulu pertanyaannya. Uh, number four, has he got a job? What time does he go to bed? What time does he get up? How many people are staying in Alfie's flat? Does he got a girlfriend? Where does she live? Why does he make such a noise? What's he doing now? What does Alfie think of Mrs. Crumble? Ya, jadi nanti saya putarkan audinya sambil kalian dengarkan, sambil kalian jawab pertanyaan-pertanyaan ini ya. Boleh ditulis, boleh dijawab dalam hati. Tapi kalau biar nggak lupa ya ditulis saja jawabannya. Nanti saya tanya ini uh, jawabannya ya. Oke, okay, uh, let me play the audio for you. Saya putarkan audinya. Tape script 2.10 Two neighbors. Mrs. Crumble. I have the flat above that young man. I think his name is Alfie Smith, because I see the postman delivering his letters. He never says hello. He hasn't got a job. Well, he doesn't go out to work at eight in the morning, and that's for sure. He doesn't get up till the afternoon, and he wears jeans and a T-shirt all the time. He never looks smart. He certainly never wears a suit. Goodness knows where he gets his money from. It's funny. I never hear him in the evening. I've no idea what he does in the evening. There are people coming and going in and out of his flat all day long. I have no idea how many people are staying. Four? Five? Have none of them got jobs? He's got a girlfriend. She's very pretty. Blonde hair. Died. She's living with him. I know a lot of young people live together these days, but I don't like it. Living together and not married. It's not right. He always makes such a noise. Listen. There he is now. Music. He's listening to music. Why can't he turn it down? It's so loud. Young people these days have no manners. They live in their own world and they just don't care about other people. They don't even notice old people like me. He probably doesn't know who I am. Okay, now let's answer these questions. Number one, where is Alfie's flat? Number one, where is Alfie's flat? Atau perlu saya ulangi? Yes, sir. Oh, maybe just one more reason. Okay, yes, uh, I repeat the audio one once more. Meal. Indian, I think. Susah ngepasinya. Dari saya Ten. I like keeping fit. I go to the gym three times a week. Tape script 2.9. Money. The best things in life are free. But you can give them to the birds and bees. I want money. Your love gives 
me such a thrill. But your love won't pay my bills. I want money. Ini lagu yang dulu ya, yang seminggu yang lalu masih ingat. Ada yang tahu lagunya? The best things in life for free, but you can do that for a month. Itu lagu asli. Yes, ya. I remember. Dari apa? Yang nyanyi siapa? Mane judulnya. Aslinya Beatles yang nyanyi ya. Oke, okay, now let's uh, listen again. Uh, Mrs. Crumble talking about Alfie. Saya putarkan lagi. Sekali lagi. Tape script 2.10. Two neighbors. Mrs. Crumble. I have the flat above that young man. I think his name is Alfie Smith, because I see the postman delivering his letters. He never says hello. He hasn't got a job. Well, he doesn't go out to work at eight in the morning, and that's for sure. He doesn't get up till the afternoon, and he wears jeans and a T-shirt all the time. He never looks smart. He certainly never wears a suit. Goodness knows where he gets his money from. It's funny. I never hear him in the evening. I've no idea what he does in the evening. There are people coming and going in and out of his flat all day long. I have no idea how many people are staying. Four? Five? Have none of them got jobs? He's got a girlfriend. She's very... Pretty, blonde hair, dyed. She's living with him. I know a lot of young people live together these days, but I don't like it, living together and not married. It's not right. He always makes such a noise. Listen, there he is now. Music. He's listening to music. Why can't he turn it down? It's so loud. Young people these days have no manners. They live in their own world and they just don't care about other people. They don't even notice old people like me. He probably doesn't know who I am. Okay, now answer. let's answer this question. Number one, where is Alfie's flat? When is that? Tadi kan Mrs. Scramble bilang, It's below Mr. Crumble. Below Mrs. Crumbles. Ya, yeah. tadi Mrs. Crumble bilang uh, apa? Above my above. flag. Ya, yeah, above my flag. Jadi kalau pertanyaan where is Alvis berarti below my flag. Um, yeah. It's below her flag. Yeah. Oke, okay, next number two. Do Alfie and Mrs. Crumble speak to each other? Ini tetanggaan tapi ngomong enggak mereka saling saling berbicara enggak? Speak to each other? Yes or no? I think no because oh, yeah. I heard that Mrs. Crumble said his never says hello. Yeah, okay, good. No, they don't itu ya. Nah, mereka enggak enggak pernah saling bicara. They don't speak to each other. Next, number three. What does he wear? And what doesn't he wear? What does he wear? Yang he wear dulu. Because part of number three. What does he uh, wear? I heard he wear t-shirt and he doesn't wear shoes. Okay, good. He wears t-shirt and he doesn't wear shoes. Yeah. Jadi dia pakai t-shirt selalu pakai t-shirt and never wear shoes. Hmm. Okay, good. Next, number four. Has he got a job? Has he got a job? Uh, what What do you think uh, about Alfie according to Mrs. Crumble? According to Mrs. Crumble? Has Alfie got sorry? Has Alfie got a job? Punya kerjaan enggak? Menurut Mrs. Crumble ya. Uh, according to Mr. Crumble, he has not 
Good job. Okay, according to Mrs. Crumble, Alfi got okay, sorry, Alfi hasn't got a job. No, yeah. Okay, next number five. What time does she go to bed? Jam berapa tidurnya? Tidak tahu itu. Tidak ada. Tidak tahu never. Tidak pernah tidur. Tapi. Tapi, what time does she get up? Bangunnya? What time does she get up? Bangunnya jam berapa? Tadi ada juga disebut ini what time does she get up-nya. Ada yang ingat? Uh, in the evening. No, bukan. Until the afternoon. In, ya, in, bangunnya in the afternoon. In the afternoon. Bangunnya siang. Afternoon itu setelah jam 12. Ininya what time does it go to bed? Uh, we don't know. Nggak tahu, kayaknya nggak pernah gitu. Uh, number six. How many people are staying in our fifth flat? Uh, around five people. Four or five. Tadi I don't know how many. Four or five. Around five. Atau four or five. Next, number seven. Has she got a girlfriend? Yes, he has. Yes, he, yes, he's, he has. And where does she live? His girlfriend. She where? lives with Alfie. She lives. She lives with him. Yes. She lives with him. With him. Yes. She lives with him. Number eight. Why does he make such a noise? Why does he make such a noise? Apa kira-kira jawabannya? Atau ini, what's he, what's he doing now? Sekarang lagi ngapain ini si Alvin yang tadi pas Mrs. Scramble ngomong. What's he doing now? What is Alvin doing when Mrs. Scramble is talking? Listen to music. Ya, yeah. he's to music. listening to music. Dia yes, sedang dengar musik. Is listening to music. And why does he make such noise? Orang itu tanya ini berarti jawabnya. Because he, because he's listening to music, ya kan? Mutar musiknya keras banget sehingga berisik sehingga make such noise. Okay, number nine. What does Alfie think of Mrs. Scramble? Ini kok Alfi tadi nggak ada ya? Kira-kira apa ini? What does Alfi think of Mrs. Scramble? Menurut kalian, kira-kira Alfi ini mikir gimana tentang pendapat Alfi tentang Mrs. Scramble gimana? I think he doesn't care about Mrs. Scramble. Ya, yeah, I think Alfi, eh, you think Alfi doesn't think atau doesn't care about Mrs. Scramble gitu. Kayaknya Alfi nggak peduli ya tetanggaan tapi nggak kenal kan nggak peduli. Check your answer in small group ya mbak Sani. Now listen to Alfie. Ah, sekarang kita bandingkan pendapatnya Mrs. Scramble dengan pendapatnya Alfie. Tadi kan cuma itu pendapatnya Mrs. Scramble. Kita nggak tahu Alfinya itu gimana. Now listen to Alfie. How does the answers questions one and nine? What differences are there? Ini Alfie juga apa kayak menjawab keluhannya si Mrs. Scramble. So now let's compare uh, what Mrs. Scramble says about Alfi and what Alfi says about himself. Nanti kita bandingkan ya pendapat Mrs. Scramble, Mrs. Scramble tentang Alfi dan pendapat Alfi sendiri. Oke, okay, now uh, I play the audio for you. Uh, listen to Alfi and compare his answers about these nine questions. Itu ya. Jadi sambil kalian dengarkan, sambil kalian bandingkan sembilan jawaban dari pertanyaan ini. Oke, okay, I play the audio for you. 
Tape script 2.11. Two neighbours. Alfie. I've got this new flat. It's so nice. I really love it. I'm having such a good time. The only thing is, it's below an old lady, and that's a bit difficult. Her name's Mrs. Crumble. I always say hello when I see her. How are you, Mrs. Crumble? Nice day, Mrs. Crumble, and all that. But she never replies. She just looks at me. I think she's deaf. She probably thinks I'm unemployed because I don't go out to work in the morning and I don't wear a suit. I think I wear really cool clothes. Well, I'm a musician. I play the saxophone and at the moment I'm playing in a jazz club. I don't start till eight at night and I don't finish till two in the morning, so I sleep from three till eleven. There is only me living here. But my flat's a bit busy at the moment because some of the other guys in the band are using it to keep their instruments in, so they're always coming in and out. <laughs> I've got a lovely girlfriend. She's the singer in the band. She's so beautiful. <laughs> She lives the other side of town, but obviously I see her every day because we work together. She comes to my place sometimes. Um, I know I make a bit of noise because I practice my saxophone. <laughs> See what I mean? What can I do? I have to practice somewhere. I know that old Mrs. Crumble is always watching me. It's sad because she has nothing to do. I feel sorry for her, and I'm always really kind to her, like I am to my own grandmother. But she's so suspicious of young people. She thinks we're all no good and take drugs. It's just not true. I work really hard. Okay, that's what Alfie says about himself. Now let's compare these answers. Number one, where is Alfie's flat? It's below her flat. Is it uh, true? Yes. Yeah. Number one is yes. it's the same answer to Alfie's. And next, number two, do Alfie and Mrs. Crumble speak to each other? No. And what about uh, what Alfie says about this? Kalau menurut Alfie sendiri gimana? Um, Alfie always greet. He the, tries the, to greet Mrs. Yeah. Crumble, but but never. But Mrs. Crumble never reply. Yeah, him. but she never applies to him. Uh, seringkali Alfie ngajak ngobrol. Tapi Mrs. Crumble-nya diem aja. Kayak menurut Alvin, Mrs. Crumble mungkin apa ini? Kok nggak pernah jawab kalau diajak? Deep. Ya, she may be deaf ya. Mungkin tuli. Ya, deaf. Oke, tuli. Next, number three. What does he wear? Sama ya. He, ne, uh, he wears t-shirt and he never wear, he doesn't wear apa? Tadi dia bilang ya, suit ya suit itu suit, kayak uh, ya suit itu kayak apa ya jas gitulah kalau kita nyebutnya kayak orang-orang kerja kantoran itu kan kalau kerja kan pakai jas. Nah, isi Alvin ini never wear suit nggak pernah pakai jas. Has he got a job? Nampu kok? Alvin is a musician. Ya, yeah, yes, he's a musician. Ya, yeah. dia punya kerjaan, dong dia pemain musik. Memang kalau kerja enggak ya, pakai jas, dong dia kerja di mana tadi? Where does he work? Where does Alfie work? Di mana tadi dia kerja? Dia main musik di anu ya, di kafe gitu ya. Oke, okay, next number five. What time does he go to bed? Nah, kalau ini Si Alfi tadi bilang, oh jam jam berapa dia tidur? Tadi jam berapa? From three till eleven. Ya, kalau go to bed-nya berarti at three. Oh jam berapa dia go to bed kan mulai tidur ya. Oh jam berarti go to bed at three in the morning. Jam tiga dini hari bukan jam tiga sore. Not in the afternoon. What time? What time does he get up? Jam berapa bang? In the afternoon, betul? Oke, 
3 to 11 tidurnya jam 3 sampai jam 11 berarti bangunnya jam 11 itu in the afternoon or in the morning in the morning, in the morning. In the morning. masih pagi sih ya jam 11 tapi belum afternoon next number 6 how many people are staying in Alvis flat berapa yang tinggal menurut Alvi according to Alvi how many people are staying in his flat berapa some of his musician friend uh, some of his friends uh, some of his friends often visit often visit him tapi not stay but they are not staying tapi mereka kan tidak tinggal cuma datang aja latihan terus pulang tapi si Mrs. Crumble nggak tahu so how many people are staying in Alvis flat jadi yang benar-benar tinggal di flatnya Alvis itu berapa orang how many people just Alvi just no Alvi one. just one ya yeah. cuma Alvi yang lain kayak pacarnya tadi kan enggak juga ya dia cuma kadang-kadang datang tapi mereka sering ketemu karena latihan gitu toh. Bukan tinggal di situ. Salah sangka si Mrs. Scramble ini. Next, number 7. Has he got a girlfriend? Yes, yes. Yes. Where does she live? Ah, ini yang beda. Where does she live? Um, on the on the other side of town, maybe. Yeah. Outside of the town, di luar kota. Tinggalnya tidak di situ, tapi di luar. Outside of the town. Okay, good. Next, number eight. Where does he make such a noise? Because, sorry. Because he practiced for the band. Yeah, because he practices for saxophone. the band. Or he practices saxophone for his band. Yeah. Nah, and what's he doing now? Nah, ya itu tadi. Apa yang itu? What's he doing now? He's practicing. Dia sedang berlatih saxophone. He's practicing saxophone. Dia sedang berlatih saxophone. Number nine. What does Alfie think of Mrs. Crumble? Apa ini? Menurut Alfie, Mrs. Crumble gimana tadi? Terakhir ini. Uh, she, uh, sorry, he pities Mrs. Crumble. Dia merasa kasihan pada Mrs. Crumble, ya yeah, he, think, yeah. he thinks Mrs. Crumble apa? has nothing to do. Has nothing to do, ya. Yeah. Tidak punya kerjaan. Kasihan gitu si Alvi. Sebetulnya Alvi tidak benci tadi sayangnya sama apa? Kayak neneknya, tapi aneh gitulah Mrs. Campbell aneh according to Abi. Oke, okay, uh, let's go to the next part. Tadi exercise oh, sudah, now let's go to exercise 5. In your groups discuss who you think is telling the truth. Enggak usah ini. Oke, okay, enggak usah in the groups. What do you think about the truth? Jadi kira-kira siapa yang benar? Benar Alfi apa benar Mrs. Scramble? Who you who do you think is telling the truth? Kalau menurut kalian siapa yang benar? Atau dua-duanya benar? Atau apa Mrs. Scramble yang benar atau Alfi? Who do you think is telling the truth? Siapa yang menyatakan yang bicara jujur? Uh, I think Alfi sir. You think Alfi is telling the truth, ya? Karena apa ya? Memang orang generasi tua sama generasi muda itu memang beda ya. Kayak kalian sama saya beda generasi. Itu memang kadang pemikirannya beda. Kadang orang tua itu orang kalau nggak berangkat kantor pagi terus pulang sore itu berarti nggak aja. Orang tua banyak yang punya pemikiran gitu. Nah, tapi sekarang ya banyak juga orang yang kerja di rumah kan ya banyak 
yang penting uh, apa ada yang kerja di rumah seperti nggak kerja dari di luar kelihatannya nggak kerja tapi hasilnya banyak orang tanya itu juga ada mungkin apa bandar narkoba eh nggak ting bandar narkoba nggak ya kerjaan yang bagus banyak oke okay, uh, now let's go to the next part role play Uh, work with the partner, role play a comparison between our finances. Enggak usah ini, kalau apa aja. Ini aja. Everyday English, making conversation. It is the first day of new school term. Listen to the conversations between two students and two teachers. Ada dua conversation. Yang pertama antara dua siswa. Yang kedua antara dua guru. The teachers are trying to be friendly. Which conversations? Is more successful. Why? Nah, ini pertanyaannya. Nanti saya putarkan audionya. Kalian jawab pertanyaan ini ya. Which conversation is more successful? Conversation yang mana yang lebih sukses lebih berhasil? And why? Oke, saya putarkan audionya. Tape script 2.12. Making conversation. One. John and Maria. Hello, my name's John. What's your name? Maria. Hi, Maria. Where are you from? Italy. Ah, okay. Where in Italy are you from? Roma. Ah, Rome. I love Rome. It's beautiful. And what do you do in Rome? I'm a student. I see. And are you enjoying being in London? Yes. Well, I've got a class now, Maria. Bye. See you again. Bye. Not in my class, I hope. Two. Maggie and Jean-Jacques. Hello. My name's Maggie. What's your name? My name is Jean-Jacques. Nice to meet you, Maggie. And you? Where are you from, Jean-Jacques? I'm French. I live in Paris. Uh, Paris, as you say in English. Uh, but I'm from the south, from Provence. Do you know the south of France? Yes, I do. It's beautiful. <laughs> It's true, it is. And you, Maggie, where are you from? I'm from Scotland. Oh, really? I've never been there, but I'd like to. It's a beautiful country, isn't it? Very. Lots of mountains and lakes. What do you do in France, Jean-Jacques? I'm an architect. I design very expensive houses for very rich people. <laughs> wow, that's an interesting job. Mm. Are you enjoying being in London? Yes, I am, very much. I'm having a really good time. I think London's a really interesting city and there's so much to do. And you, Maggie, what do you do? Well, I'm a teacher. I work here. Oh, really? What class are you teaching? 3B. Oh, great! That's my class. You're my teacher. Oh, how lovely. Well, it's nine o'clock. Let's go to class. What a good idea. I'll follow you. Okay. Uh, tadi ada saya salah ya. Bukan two students and two teachers, tapi one student and one teacher and then another student and another teacher ini guru dan murid sih dua-duanya oke okay, uh, now i'd like you to answer the questions the first one which conversation is more successful yang mana conversation yang lebih sukses which one which conversation is more successful which one yang mana The second one, sorry. The second, the second one. one. The conversation between Maggie and Sean Shock. Sean Shock, susah ini katanya. Orang Perancis, Sean Shock. And why? Why do you think the second conversation is more successful? Kenapa? Kok berhasil yang kedua? Dari mana tahu kalau itu lebih berhasil? Uh, what makes you uh, what makes you draw a conclusion that the second conversation is more successful 
what makes you draw a conclusion apa yang membuat kalian menyimpulkan bahwa yang kedua itu yang more successful dari mana kesimpulannya itu more successful ayo i think because not just one person that give uh, patients and yeah. Jan Jax uh, looks like so excited with the conversation and then he give a feedback to his partner yeah okay good first uh, first part, first people uh, impressed in the question at all get interested in the conversation to uh, berminat dalam atau senang berkon, dalam conversation bercakap-cakap dua-duanya kalau yang si John sama Maria tadi nah, kayaknya Maria malas-malasan gitu ya jawabnya cuma sepatah kata sepatah kata oke okay, uh, in the second conversation both participants get interested in the conversation and some shock apa tadi hmm, apa bersemangat ya apa bersemangat itu and he is enthusiastic in the conversation dia bersemangat dalam percakapan Hmm, apalagi and he apa ya he tells a lot about himself mungkin itu boleh banyak bercerita tentang dirinya and also make he uh, and also he he asked he asked uh, a lot of questions about Maggie and also Maggie ask uh, karena dua-duanya saling bertanya jadi konversasinya bisa jalan hmm. kalau yang John and Maria tadi cuma John terus yang nanya Marianya mau semangsan enggak sukses oke okay, uh, uh, let's go on to the next exercise exercise two when you are having a conversation it helps you if you add a command don't just answer yes or no or ask questions express interest ya yeah, ini supaya konversisinya berhasil atau berjalan dengan bagus you have to add a command kadang-kadang kita kasih komen lah don't just answer yes or no kalau ditanya jangan yes terus sudah no nah, mungkin ditambah komen komentar oh juga uh, you have uh, it's better for you to ask questions not just answer the question but you You better ask question. Selain ditanya, harusnya kita juga gantian nanya. Kalau ditanya cuma jawab pro, nah ya konversinya enggak berhasil sih. Also express interest, tunjukkan rasa tertarik atau minat. Jangan kayak Maria tadi, kayaknya malas-malasan ditanya. Kayak enggak semua ada ditanya gurunya. Oh, malas. Nah kalau gitu, ya nanti ya konversinya enggak berhasil. Gitu ya, jadi sebenarnya ini kita nanti mau conversation dua orang dua orang sih. Waktunya cukup enggak? Ya nanti kalau waktunya cukup. Oke, okay, now let's go on to the next exercise. Exercise three, match a line in A with a reply in B. Ya, gampang ini, kita kerjakan bareng-bareng. Let's do this exercise together. Number one, what a lovely day is this today? Oh ini sudah ada jawabannya. What a lovely day it is today. Yes, beautiful, isn't it? Ini ya jawabannya. Ini juga bukan pertanyaan sebetulnya. What a lovely day, cuma orang ngomong aja. Wah, harinya indah sekali ya hari ini. Tapi ini dijawab, direspon. Yes, beautiful, isn't it? Ya, yeah, indah ya. Oke, okay, next. Question number two. Are you having a good time in London? Oh, ini jawabnya. F. Yes, I am. It's a very interesting city. Yes, I am. It's a very interesting city. Next, number three. Uh, Thanks, same to you. Weekend. Have a good weekend. Terus. Thanks, same to you. Thanks, same to you. Ya, yeah. biasanya kalau ini, have a good weekend, ini kan kira-kira artinya Semoga akhir pekanmu menyenangkan. Semoga kamu menjalani akhir minggu yang baik. Kan ini berarti doa ya, harapan itu. Nah, kita sebaiknya berterima kasih. Thanks. 
dan mendoakan yang sama. Same to you, kamu juga. Kamu juga itu same to you gitu ya bahasa Inggrisnya bukan. Same same bukan gitu. Tidak ada same same. Same to you. Okay, next number four. Did you have a nice weekend? G, yes, I yes, did. I did. It, was it was really, really good. good. Okay, yeah. G, yes, I did. It was really good. Next, number five. What are you doing tonight? Nothing special. Nothing special. Nah, ada cara khusus. Ini tonight berarti maksudnya nanti malam ya. What are you doing tonight? Apa yang kamu lakukan nanti? Kamu nanti, nanti malam kamu mau ngapain? itu kira-kira nothing special ngapain-ngapain sih ya yeah. next number six how's your mother these days apa ini which one is the response is okay ya yeah. e ya bukan e kalau e itu no i didn't itu e ini e e she's okay thanks Next, number seven. Did you watch the football last night? No, I didn't. I missed it. No, I didn't. I missed it. Nggak nonton. Kalau nonton mau diajak ngobrol. Kamu nonton bola semangat nggak? Nggak. Eh. Kalau sama-sama nonton, seru. Nonton persisnya. Next, number eight. I like your shoes. Then. Number eight, I like your shoes. What is the reason? Thank you, they're new. Thank you, they're new. Shoes itu kata gantinya there ya, karena shoes sepatu itu pasti dua. Nggak mungkin orang pakai sepatu satu gitu. Nah, jadi kalau orang ngomongin sepatu, biasanya kan sepasang. A pair of shoes atau shoes gitu ya. Plural ya, jadi kata gantinya the bukan it's new, tapi they're new. They're new. Thank you, they're new. Next number nine oh, berarti ini. If you have a problem, just ask me. Berarti yang ini tidak satu ya. Thank you very much. Okay, now listen and check. Saya putarkan audio. How does B keep the conversation going? Ini ada. How does B? Ini si kolom yang sebelah kiri yang ngomong namanya A, E, kolom yang B, kolom yang kanan yang ngomong namanya B. Ada how does B keep the conversation going? Bagaimana B uh, menjaga supaya percakapan terus berlanjut gitu ya? Enggak cuma tanya ini, terus jawab ini, terus sudah. Enggak cuma itu. Oke, saya putarkan audio. Tape script 2.13. Making conversation. One. What a lovely day it is today. Yes, beautiful, isn't it? Much nicer than yesterday. Two. Are you having a good time in London? Yes, I am. It's a very interesting city. There's so much to do. I love the shops. What a lovely day is it today? Yes, beautiful, isn't it? Much nicer than yesterday. Lebih bagus dari hari kemarin. Nah, kan gitu jadi ngobrolin nanti. Nggak cuma yes. Itu tuh ah, selesai. Yes, itu boleh sendiri. Terus dia kasih komen. Much nicer. Kasih komen. Dan kalau yang nomor itu. Are you having a good time in London? Yes, I am. It's very interesting city. Terus dia ngomong lagi. Ya, jadi kan banyak. Oke, okay, let's. On the Let's continue the conversation. Three. Have a good weekend. Thanks. Same to you. Are you doing anything interesting? Four. Did you have a nice weekend? Yes, I did. It was really good. I saw some old friends. What did you do? Yeah, okay. Number three and four. Responnya selain ini ngapain tadi si B? Biar konversasinya terus berlanjut. 
Jadi dia nanya, si E nanya, si B jawab. Tapi selain jawab, si B dan dia nanya. Itu jadi apa kompresinya terus berlanjut. Next. Five. What are you doing tonight? Nothing special. Just at home. What about you? Six. How's your mother these days? She's okay, thanks. She's feeling a lot better. Thank you for asking. Seven. Did you watch the football last night? No, I didn't. I missed it. Was it a good game? Eight. I like your shoes. Thank you. They're new. I got them last week in the sales. They're nice, aren't they? Nine. If you have a problem, just ask me. Thank you very much. That's very kind of you. I will. Tape script. I will. Thank you very much. That's kind of it. Uh, baik, kamu baik. I will. Saya akan. Maksudnya, I will ask you if I have a problem. Gitu ya. Nanti kalau ada masalah, aku mau aku tanya kamu. Ya, jadi uh, now you know how we uh, keep the conversation going. Jadi dengan gantiannya, dengan menjawab yang panjang, kasihkan kasih deskripsi, kasih komentar. Jadi jawabannya panjang sehingga konversinya juga jalan terus. Kadang gantiannya uh, menghargai, thank you very much, that's kind of you. Menghargai perhatian mengucapkan terima kasih something like uh, like that uh, something like that is used to keep the conversation going supaya um, conversation bisa terus berlangsung nanti harusnya kalian itu ya practice the conversation with the partner tapi bukan yang ini sih yang bawahnya ini sudah waktu kita sampai jam 20 40 ya, masih dapat di sekitar 15 menit. Oke, okay. uh, uh, I'll, dis, uh, I'll divide the class into some groups again. Uh, now I'd like, uh, uh, I'll do it in group of two. Sekarang kelompoknya dua-dua ya. Saya akan bikin grup lagi, uh, satu kelompok dua-dua. I'd like you to make a conversation uh, supaya apa namanya conversationnya terus berlangsung dan bisa keep going ya conversationnya bisa keep going jangan hanya satu pertanyaan terus sudah. Uh, these are some examples. Ini ada beberapa contoh. Begin a conversation with one of these lines. Keep the conversation going as long as possible. Jadi tugas kalian misalnya Uh, si gantian nanti ya yang mulai gantian misalnya uh, misalnya siapa ya misalnya Reni sama Juvan misalnya contoh aja Reni dulu memulai I was on holiday last month terus Juvan menanggapi Reni menanggapi selap sepanjang mungkin kalau udah mentok sekarang gantian Juvan Juvan bilang I've uh, I've got a new girlfriend kalau misalnya nggak punya pura-pura aja ya ini apa ya role play aja drama drama aja sanjiwara aja role play nggak beneran nggak apa-apa nggak sesuai kenyataan nggak apa-apa cuma acting aja uh, terus si misalnya Jovan bilang I've got a new boyfriend eh Jovan sorry I've got a new girlfriend terus si Reni nanggapi terus nanya-nanya atau -nanya, apa-apa Keep the conversation going as long as possible. Kalau sudah mentok, gantian sireni lagi. I go to Hong Kong a lot on business. Enggak pergi ke Hong Kong beneran, enggak apa-apa. Cuma acting aja. Itu ya. Uh, saya bagi kelompok. Nanti saya kasih waktu. Nah, lima menit aja. Lima menit aja to make conversation. Uh, sir, can I ask you a question? Yes. Is it we just choose one of the 
statement? Or we have to all Mua. Mua. Status statement sampai mentok sampai juga enggak ada bahan ganti topik. Jadi tadi saya kasih contoh misalnya Jovan sama Reni. Reni bilang yang ini kutipan yang pertama. I was on holiday last month. Jovan menanggapi tentang topik ini holiday last monthnya si Reni. Ngobrol-ngobrol sampai mentok kalau sudah enggak ada bahan sekar gantian Jovan yang kedua. I've got new girlfriend. Itu ya. Iya. Yeah. Atau anu enggak harus urut sih. Boleh misalnya milih yang ini. I went shopping at the weekend. Ini boleh. Terus si lawan bicaranya nanti. Gitu ya. Ya, saya bagi kelompok. Setiap kelompok dua orang waktunya berapa ya? 6 menit karena sudah mau habis ini. Setiap kelompok saya kasih waktu 6 menit terus nanti kembali ke main room ya. 